What is up, y'all? Thanks for watching this video. Today, we're going to be talking about some practical gift ideas for guitarists, especially those that are serving in the church. First, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for actually clicking it. I hope you like it. If you like it, hit the like button. If this is your first time here, thanks for giving this a shot and actually hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on the videos that are gonna be coming out weekly. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Also, if you wanna support the channel, if you really like the content and you're using the content, one way that you can give back is by becoming a patron on the Patreon page. That is patreon.com slash EG source and you can get tons of perks and rewards such as lesson videos on every song that drops weekly and presets that I make for every song as well as tons of other perks that are probably be coming out in the future. Check it out over at the Patreon page and I, again my family and I definitely appreciate that. Alright so everyone knows a guitarist maybe at least if you are watching this video somehow you know a guitarist or you are a guitarist and you want to know how to tell your family, friends, some ideas of stuff that they can get you, or maybe you were sent here because a guitarist shared this with you, maybe, I don't know. But this is just some gift ideas of stuff that they will actually use and actually want from guitarist to guitarist. Some of these things are gonna be pretty generic. Every guitarist has heard of them, and actually some of these things are not. So hopefully you get one thing out of this that you might want to use or get or get for a guitarist. The first one is picks. Yeah, they're super cheap. You can find them at any guitar store. Some guitars have more than what they need, but everyone has dropped a pick and you have to listen for where you last heard it bounce to go find it, especially if you drop a black one on a black floor. That is terrible, like that sucks. So sometimes you drop it and you don't even hear it and it's just gone for forever and you know where you dropped it and just you end up scrambling trying to find it and you just can't find it so some guitars have plenty of picks and some guitars just lose picks that's just how it goes one that i'm really into right now is the gravity pick it is super cool they're kind of clear, this transparent, as you can see, they're a little bit thicker, but you can get them in any sort of thickness. What I like about it is I like how it feels in your hand. I like the way it sounds, more importantly. I know guitarists were all a bunch of nerds and the way everything sounds, but this gives a very pure picking sound, uh, not so scratchy or scrapey or whatever those other words would be, but I love this pick. Anyways, go check them out. They're called Gravity Picks, made in tons of other thicknesses. Next up, one of my favorites is strings. Yes, strings, yeah, they're like giving someone stocks. Like you know they're gonna use them, you know they need them, they're gonna go through them, and sometimes they're just breaking them, whatever. Then the guitarist doesn't even have to spend the money or go to the store or go to Amazon and buy them. You've given them what they needed and wanted. So one thing you need to know is what kind of thickness or gauge of a string that they like to use. I personally like 10s, some guitarists like 9s, and some guitarists like 11s. So ask them what they need or what they want and get them in a bundle pack. This is a three set pack by Didario XLs, the NYXLs. This is my favorite go-to string. It's been ever since they came out. I haven't gone back. Uh, lasts super long time and the coating's great on them. I know this, if you're not a guitarist, you don't know what I'm talking about, but they do, trust me. Also ask what brand they like. They might like Ernie Ball or Didario or Elixir or whatever. Ask them what brand, ask them what gauge. That's the two most important things you need to know. And trust me, they will use them and they will appreciate that you got them. They uh, sell them on Amazon for three packs and sometimes even six packs. Next up is slides. So what I would ask your guitarist is, do you play with a slide? If the answer is no, just get any slide and say, hey, here you go, Merry Christmas or whatever, happy birthday, enjoy the slide. And there's tons of YouTube videos out there. A couple things, if they do have slides, and let's say they need one, they'll tell you exactly what they need. Oh man, I need a shorty, which are these ones right here. They're also known as knuckle slides because they're short, they go right across the knuckle. Uh, this is a glass, this is a brass, and this is a chrome. All of these are made by Dunlop. Uh, it's just my kind of go-to slide. There are also ceramic slides out there, and that's just slides. Next, super useful thing for guitars, strap locks. Here's why, because we use this end right here and we go over that little strap peg that's actually on the guitar, screwed into the guitar. And what happens is over time as we rotate this or even take it off and on between gigs or venues or weekend set lists at church, this little part right here, when you least suspect it, your peg of the guitar will slip right off because it's worn out right here in the slit. 
and your guitar will go boom because you're, it always happens when you aren't happening to hold it. And if you are holding it, maybe you're cool enough to catch it. That'd be super, like that'd be Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. But I have it on this end right here. And what you can see is it looks like what would go over the peg attached to the guitar. So how it works, just so you know, is you lift here on the peg and it unlocks this little peg that goes into the part on the guitar. And you can take it off like this, slide it off. And then when you wanna put it on, you kinda of put it on like that where that little horseshoe is, slide it over the peg and it locks in place and it's on the guitar for good forever. I've never had mine fail. I've never heard of one failing, but if they, Go through straps because they always talk about this part being worn out. An option is strap locks. Next up, gift cards. So it doesn't have to be much. It could be just $25 from Amazon or Guitar Center or any local guitar store if they have gift cards. I like gift cards because yes, they're generic. They don't even have to use it on guitar stuff, but you can make it personalized. Maybe give them a pack of strings and a gift card. It kind of insinuates their uh, musicianship and their creativity and it gives them the option to get other stuff that they need that you may not know that they need. You can get them an Apple or iTunes gift card to the App Store. One app that I do like is called the On Song app. What is cool about this is you can personalize it however you want. You can put the chords in any color and it's chord charts for church. And this is the way I used to practice when I was uh, being the MD. Do anything on this thing. You could even change the key in real time. So if we're gonna go down a half step or a full step, you just click the settings and you go down that many steps to a different chord and it'll change it automatically. It syncs with planning centers. And give them that gift card and say, hey, go check out the On Song app if they don't already have it. What's even neat about this is you can pair it with a little foot pedal. This is called the Air Turn. All right, so you can even get them one of these. And it's Bluetooth, goes to the iPad, and as songs change or you wanna scroll down, you just click on the button that you want to use as the page turner and it'll change it automatically with your feet. You don't have to you know, let go of the guitar or even with your picking hand and swipe or do anything like that. You can just use one of these. Wall hangers. This is perfect for someone who's in a more permanent living situation and they have the space, a room where they use as their practice space and you want them to show off the goods. These are relatively cheap, um, but get one of good quality. Uh, look at the reviews if you found one online. Don't get some just cheap thing that is quick to easy to find. Find a good one that's reputable. That way they don't have to store them in closets and bags and cases all the time. If they wanna just hang it up and they practice every day, they'll love this. So this next one's a little different. This is what I'm gonna call the patch kit. Ask your guitarist, are you interested in making your own cables? They might say no, and that's totally fine. Uh, they might say no because they don't have the stuff to do it with, like a soldering iron or wire cutters. So get them wire cutters, get them a nice soldering iron, get them Megami low noise cable. This is the 2319 cable and see what kind of plugs they like. See if they like the right angle plugs that are just traditional. This is a pancake plug because it is thinner and right here in this section, get their pedals tighter to each other if uh, real estate's an issue on the pedal board. And finally, my favorite gig bags. This is the two guitar gig bag by Mono. Uh, I love it because plenty of space to store anything, extra cables, power cables, uh, cleaning gear for cleaning my guitars after I use them for a uh, project, a gig, or a church service. Um, again, you can hold one in here. You can hold another one in here, two guitars. And as you can see, it's really thick. It's really big, but it gets the job done. Consider how much your guitarist travels. And what I mean by that is not just travel with by air or long road trips. If they do that, great, it's a perfect gift. Think about how much do they go to church, like so just leaving one location and going to another. They need a really good case, especially if they got two guitars. You can get that case. Another option is this one. As you can see, it's slimmer, but this is the one made by Reunion Blues. A uh, really great case, it's just similar to the mono, um, but it's slimmer, so if they got one guitar, tons of padding in those. One thing you wanna consider is how much does the guitarist actually travel to and from a location, and that's how much money you kinda wanna spend on them. It's a kind of a higher dollar price uh, gift, but 
one of my favorite gifts that I ever got for my birthday uh, years ago was the Mono two guitar gig bag. It's just an option for Christmas if you have a large family. You got that guitarist that always has to carry two guitars if he has to. He's always carrying two guitar cases and a pedal board and maybe even an amp. It's a great gift idea. This last one is a little bit different um, because we've probably seen some of these every now and then, but it's actually the wireless receiver and transmitters for guitar. How this works is one goes into your pedal board or your amp, one goes into the guitar and it wirelessly sends the signal. I'll probably do a review on this one. This is called the Mifi. I do not ever personally suggest them for live unless they're the high dollar ones like made by Sennheiser. Um, I use these all the time for practice. I've been using them now for a while. No issues whatsoever, great sound. But it's an option if cable management is kind of an issue. I just ask them, would you like a wireless transmitter receiver for your guitar playing? They might say yes. This one again is the Mifi. You can find it on Amazon for about 70 bucks. And believe it or not, it's really, really good. It actually is shocking. So guys, that's my practical gift ideas for guitarists, especially those that are serving in church. Hopefully you get one good idea out of it. If not more, if more than great. Thanks for checking out this video. And as always, keep playing, keep praying.